Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm here today with Miss Bailey to do a book review. Today we are going to be reviewing The Sky Stone by Jack White. Hi, you excited? <laughs> It is Samantha and Bailey who is in her own little world and today as I said in the intro we are going to be reviewing the Sky Stone by Jack White. This is a very exciting Arthurian retelling and very unique so I'm excited to review it for you guys today. So the Sky Stone is a very unique Arthurian retelling in that it starts way before Arthur is ever born. The story starts out with Arthur's grandfather Publius Varus who is a British born Roman soldier. Told from first-person perspective, Publius recounts his years first as a soldier in the Roman legions. He began his close friendship with their general Caius Britannicus. Then his years of retirement as a very skilled blacksmith in the village where he was born and raised. So it is here during his years as a blacksmith where he's recounting his time as a blacksmith that the story really starts to pick up. At this point the Roman government is close to collapse and his close friend Caius Britannicus ends up approaching him with an interesting proposition to move to his Caius's villa and estate far to the north of where Publius is right now. Here they would set up their own settlement, complete with their own government and forces in preparation for the Roman collapse. Publius ends up getting caught up with his decision on whether or not to join Britannicus, as well as his unwitting embroilment in Britannicus's feud with the family of Seneca is a very wealthy, powerful, and influential family in Rome. As well as his search for the elusive sky stone, a stone that his grandfather made a really beautiful dagger and sword out of, out of that his grandfather told him fell from the sky. I presume it's like a stone from a comet. And he is caught up in a search trying to find this so he can make his friend Britannicus a sword from this very, very special metal. So Publius kind of has his work cut out for him. He has a lot going on, a lot of decisions to make. And his decisions will not only affect his own future, but the future of all of Britain as well. So overall, I found the book to be really enjoyable, but it did tend to move a little bit slow, particularly in the beginning. Overall, though, I ended up rating it four out of five stars because it did end up, getting picking, it did end up picking up, and I really found the language and the story to be really really enjoyable. This book is definitely historical fiction as it does lack a lot of magical elements. Jack White decided to do this retelling purely from a historical viewpoint so there isn't a lot of magic but you do see how the legends could have evolved to include magic if that makes any sense. As such however it is beautifully written. White's grasp of language really shines through and creates a very strong and atmospheric presence that is really really a joy to read. The story itself does move a little bit slow but it is told from Publius's perspective kind of as a series of events that happened to him. So if you've read the Anne of Green Gables series or the Emily of New Moon series from Ellen Montgomery and kind of how those stories develop as a series of events that happen to the character that's kind of how this story progresses. So it's not like a fantasy book where you get like a lot of world building and there's a lot going on in the world that are kind of shaping everything and driving people on this path. It's definitely just told as, it's basically just a retelling of this guy's life. He's kind of telling you his life story and kind of what led him to where he's at now. I did find the characters of Publius and Britannicus to be very well fleshed out. You really got a sense of their personality and their character. However, a lot of the other secondary characters such as Equus and Platus and even the Senecas were a little bit two dimensional. They kind of lacked a lot of character development and part of this could have been because it was told from Publius's perspective so he didn't go too in depth into their character Caius Britannicus being his best friend so it makes sense that he would have a little bit more in-depth knowledge about his character and of course himself of course he's going to know himself so those two characters were definitely well developed but a lot of the secondary characters fell a little bit flat for me so that was something I didn't much care for about the book but overall the story was really enjoyable I really like White's take on the book he definitely has a very good grasp of history he does include a lot of real historical events and in terms of the Roman Empire in the series and in this book so a lot of actual historical events are referenced so I really like that he's kind of doing this retelling through a more realistic viewpoint he's not going more the magic magical fantastical route he's definitely sticking more towards like this is based on this real person this is actually what happened but you can see how the legends evolved to include a lot of the magical elements so it was just really enjoyable it did move a little bit slow like I said but I still ended up really liking it and I really do want to continue on with the rest of the series so I intend on getting book two soon and kind of maybe reading a book a month we shall see but it's still a really really interesting retelling take on it I really like that he starts out with the Romans I kind of like Roman history I've always found it to be kind of fascinating so that was kind of interesting element to add to the book so if you like Arthurian retellings and I definitely 
definitely suggest that you pick this up because I think that you will like it. The first half of the book does move a little bit slow. It does end up picking up a little bit more and you do get more invested in the characters. So as I said, overall I rated this book 4 out of 5 stars and I am really pleased with it and cannot continue to read on. Alright guys, that was my book review for The Sky Stone by Jack White. Let me know down in the comments if you've read this book and what your thoughts were on it or if you have any questions and I will try to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading! Bye!